So, um, hello from Japan, from Tokyo, where, um, boy, there's a lot of people. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, there were quite so many people. But what's interesting for me about watching this number of people in Japan is how, how brilliantly they uh, manage to create bubbles around themselves, private bubbles, on the, uh, on the metro, on the subway, um, in the streets. Uh, it's amazing. People um, can create their own little world better than any people I've seen around the world. I think this has obviously got something to do with the fact that there's, I don't know, 20, 30 million people packed into this town. But it also made me think about um, focus and how, how it, amazing it is that we can effectively screen everything out. Um, apparently the Japanese uh, who live with paper thin walls very often uh, train themselves not to hear what their neighbors are saying. They just, they just screen it out. Just, they, they hear the noise but somehow don't process it. I think it's an amazing ability when you're aware of it, but I wonder how often we're doing that and um, it becomes a habit and we just go into a bubble of our own privacy and avoid each other and uh, what's happening in the world. So here's, here's a thought, here's a little exercise to practice and it's, it's, it's really balancing, um, it's something I got from, uh, was shown by a wonderful theatre practitioner, David Glass, look him up, he's great. Um, and he was talking to us about the difference between Western and Eastern focus. So, so Western focus, if you like, is, is um, pick up your thumb, take a look at your thumb and just concentrate on your thumb and uh, look at it and obliterate everything else. Just as you're walking along, just um, concentrate on your thumb, your thumb, your thumb, and it's like that's all you can see uh, is your thumb. That's sort of Western focus. We focus by obliterating or ignoring what we're not focusing on. Now flip it out and, and, and try a different way, which is more, if you like, a more sort of Eastern approach to focus, which is take the same thumb, I'm doing my shopping down here, for the same thumb, and this time be aware of the thumb, but then allow your awareness to sort of web out and surround and be able to see everything around the thumb for a foot, two feet, three feet, all around the thumb until everything in your line of sight is also in your consciousness. So you're looking at your thumb and everything else. And as you're walking along, you can fix on a point, but also be aware of everything that's around you. So you can be a bubble but you can be a bubble that's aware of, all, aware of all the other bubbles, a bubble that embraces the other bubbles. Go on, be a bubble embracer, a bubble that embraces. Enjoy that.